Did your dad ask you anything? Well, yeah. Well, that's why I was screaming at my dad. He doesn't have anything to do with the situation, but every time I freaked out about the situation, my dad asked me if I felt better. So I started associating my dad asking me if I felt better with the damn rape. So every time mm. somebody brought it up, I was mad at my dad. Very good. Put your dad in the lens. Move, remove. And they literally, I have to do this to kids. I'm like, well, then do that to kids. Why do you got to do it to the children? Well, because they don't ever learn it as an adult. <laughs> Is that kind of like the oubliette and the trap door where basically they're following trap doors all the way back to the original memory and removing yeah. each association, each uh, false association? Each false association. False association. Can I, I mean, can I not learn that? Can I at least try to learn how to do that at my age? You can, but when I, how old are you? 26. I look like I'm 12. Well, no, but it's 26. You you know, you grab, so from the time you're supposed to be able to do that, you know, 13 to 26, all of those memories are contaminated. Now, what wasn't, what isn't originally not supposed to be there? You don't know yet. After today that I teach you, you'll know. And you've said in the past, all your memories are still there, even if you can't access them. They're all in the subconscious. Yeah. What do you think about, like, Sherlock Holmes' brain attic? Like, where your brain is an attic and you try to keep only the things that are important. Like, don't listen to politics. Like, I've heard you say you don't care what's happening yeah, in the capital. All of the because... contamination. That's what we were just doing. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. So Holmes, that is legit. Whatever, the you want to raise, let's see, uh, Sherlock Holmes and Watson Elementary. You want to raise the sheer logic of your brain's want son, Sherlock Holmes and Watson. You want to raise the sheer logic of your brain's want son. Uh, you need an elementary particle to your biology. A muon or lepton. A, how did you solve all those riddles, Mr. Holmes? It's elementary, dear Watson. It's elementary, dear Watts. I need Watts, son. Well, how, ketones. I solved it. Watts. I raised the Watts, son. Well, I, now, Sherlock Holmes needed Watson to solve his, his riddles, his problems. Yeah. Because Watson replaced the skull that he used to talk to, right? In a way. Self. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, Watson. It was just a thought. So I thought about it. Then I, after I, after I got so I, uh, the skull, I got a, I, I got my dossier. I read the dossier. Now I got to, now I got to decipher the information. I need to raise my brain's Watson. I got to manage its ketones using manage its ohms using some ketones. I mean, Sherlock Holmes, sheer logic, ohms. Right, managing your ohms with a ketone raises the sheer logic of your brain's watts, son. Managing the ohms of your brain's watts, son. The ohms is, is the resistance. Manage the resistance. <gasps> Increase the, the watts. Manage huh. the resistance. Manage the resistance. Now I remember uh, Arab Tech and Courtney Hunt. Because there is a resistance for children parading around going, welcome to the resistance, as they had been accepted. Because I had told, you know, allegedly told kids they were now members of this group that takes care of women and children. But they right. weren't. And the kids went, why are they doing that to adults? Why are other adults pretending to other adults they protect sexually trafficked women and children? Why do people who don't take care of those women and children need to get those women and children? Doesn't make any sense. So I don't have anything to do with sex trafficked women and children. But 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 Dan does. Dan's actually somebody who does. But I'm parading myself around like I do. So if something happens to a child, they'll be brought to my house. Yeah. Like an inside man. <clears throat> man on the inside. Keep your enemies close. Yeah. Welcome to the resistance, guys. Welcome to the resistance. There's a, a, the resistance of what, though? <laughs> How do you keep your enemies close without exposing your own intelligence to them in the form of counterintelligence for them if they're so close? I mean, you, you'd have you to be so them? far ahead of them. I don't know. You just do whatever. Because I, I think about I that a lot. I don't, and like, I don't perceive anybody as an enemy. I just feel like there's a lot of broken people in the world. I don't have any enemies. I just have there's a lot of broken people in the world. Yeah. And one, and I, and it was like a, uh, 
like it's so, uh, yeah, I don't have any enemies, just a lot of broken people in the world, just a lot of greedy people in the world, a lot of evil people in the world. You know, like I mean, I have, I said it's so fascinating. All the stuff I went through, you know, some, uh, me and my wife go, living in a garage of somebody who beat and raped us because the sheriff's department took our money to give the doctor and, a, and some other people. That look, that looks, how's that look? My information, like, it's not cool to adults, but a lot of kids were paying attention. Like, Star Wars is pretty popular, and, you know, all the kids' fantasies, Harry Potter, and all this stuff's really big in the kid world. Yeah. <laughs> so the other stuff I add into it. It's... Pay attention to the details in my life while you while you learn about this other stuff, and they go, God. Yeah. Are all adults like that? <laughs> so, you know, some kids literally like, the sheriff's department. And the Airborne Rangers had American citizens lie about knowing you and who knew you and what knowing you for sexual exploitation, blackmail, extortion on a fucking live feed. They had people lie in public. So the Airborne Rangers are actually going around having people lie to divorces. Like that's it's you have no idea how fucking bad it is. That's a half like just like, oh, you half a million followers. And some kids like, I thought you had seven million or, you know, I'm like, well, that's a, yeah. that was, a, that's not a, this, a, that camp was closed, buddy. <laughs> so how did you get on this camp? Well, I had to find this one to sign on to this one. It's a different, yeah, that count's gone. <laughs> hmm. so, you know, that, that account was seven million followers <laughs> or, you know, 700,000, whatever it is, a hundred thousand. Yeah. What do they get to watch? What do they get to watch not happen while it's happening? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's like, I'm like, damn, the air, like my community has screwed over the, uh, I don't think people <laughs> understand. Like we fucked the country over so bad. My little community and my people are like, it's not that big of a deal. My wife's like, it's not so big. You're making, you're like, you're making mountain out of molehill. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I'm trying to take a mountain and turn it into a molehill. <laughs> yeah. You're I'm making some to, pretty big ripples. It is absolutely, well, you think about it you get stationed out of you get deployed out of Fort Bragg Pensacola uh, uh, anywhere anywhere you know what I mean Quantico yeah. it doesn't matter where you get deployed and you get ambushed someone dies well, how'd they find out did it start in my community <laughs> the, 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 the deceit and betrayal for your military base start in mine did Lewis McCord in, in Banger Naval Base in Washington State, sell out the whole country. I'm starting to think, yeah. We, we let a doctor literally lie to gather the military. Now we're seeing what we think about. This. this is how bad it gets. Several million children watching the military rape and torture somebody so a doctor can lie about being chosen to give the world information about God. The military did that. While also allowing this woman to sell babies of the women that these people were raping forcibly impregnated. Black market, so the American military is showing we sell babies to fund terrorist activities. We rape to make sure terrorist organizations in foreign countries can have the counterintelligence to ambush Dan if he gets deployed. We're actually, my town right now is making sure somebody has the intel to try and kill you if you get deployed in 2022. But hey, if it's in 2030, all right, if somebody gets stationed out of California, gets deployed out of California in 2035, in 2021, we're making sure we can get them killed. 14 years before you, before you even get in the service. You're a 12-year-old kid. You're dreaming about joining the Marines, the Airborne Rangers, the SEALs. My neighbor yeah. is making sure someone can kill you before you even enlisted. Do you recommend people enlist? Because I've seen that in a lot of group chats. People are wondering. I do. Yeah. I tell because them, go ahead and enlist, but remember, your chain of command is infiltrated. Oh, yeah. Sith Lord, they're run by a Sith Lord. I did that a long time ago. People, that was great. The military, first I did Cobra Commander. So I'm going to give you yeah. guys one, make you guys happy. Cobra Commander, the uh, the the G.I. Joe's arch enemy. And the military guys were like, ooh, this is good. Yep, Cobra Commander. You got to give them fantasies when they're stationed overseas. Something to dream about and think about, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cobra Commander. And I says, hey, guys, when you get back. I found Cobra and they was laughing. Some grown ass men over there sitting in a fucking ditch or <laughs> buried down in the <laughs> some fucking tank 300 degrees. Listen, like I found Cobra Commander, guys. I did. I found Cobra Commander in real life, Dan. 
if you're in the military and you were having a bad day, somebody might switch you up so I can speak to you. And I'm like, I, I know you don't know who I am, but I found Cobra Commander. So if you can make it through your mission, you can help me. Like in real life, Cobra Commander, it's the arch enemy of the Joes. And in the United States, if, if you lose medical, there's this group run by this guy. It's called Cobra. And they study you on how you heal naturally because you don't have any medical. And then they right. take how you healed yourself naturally and they lobby the federal government to make sure the Department of Veterans Affairs don't use those processes for the military. The, the, Ameri the Joe's arch enemy is real. It went from TV to reality. In real yeah. life, Cobra is an omnibus insurance program that covers you when you lose insurance in the United how, States. How does that happen where like the Simpsons or like other fantasy becomes reality? Is that just evidence of the simulation or is, What's up, do the they take time? it from fantasy? Some of it is some of it's already just reality, and, you, and nobody sees it, and you put it in there. Yeah, it exposes it using fantasy and fiction. Yeah, and then other things is just like I think I can do that. Like that might it's not real today, but and get away with it. Yeah, I think, I, I think Marvin the Martian going someone someone I can plant that seed and get someone to take off to Mars. Bullshit. What is I that? I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> just like I just read like something. <laughs> yeah. There's like some effect that like evil people do where they put subliminal messaging in about what they're going to do. Like they tell you, but nobody gets it. And then that makes it okay that they did it because they told you up front and nobody saw it, but well, they, they told you. Make it okay. like you feel, you feel like partially responsible because you didn't do anything about it. I'm not yeah. going to do I'm not going to fix the problem now because I'm partially responsible. I never did anything the first time. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, you know, we did, like, I, I do this quite a bit. And, I, well, I can start over as many times as it takes. But we're just digging, like, I know somebody's watching. You know, and I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, guys, when you showed up and all those people from, from, from Bainbridge or wherever, Naval, whatever, I remember all, all those dead people in the house. And everybody was like, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. And everybody was having this soul survival. That was when I was downstairs. And I remember they came one time, I was, I'm almost bled out in my bathtub upstairs, but for some reason, my last drop of blood didn't leave me. And they said, what happened? You're the only one alive. And we don't even know how you're alive. Like you don't have any blood in your body. And I got transfusions. This is my wife had to sign off for some transfusions. But was that when you were talking about being a vegetable and it was 20,000 a month or is that a different time? Uh, so I, uh, I, it's not very interesting. So the, the, that was a different time. So, and you sat up right when you heard the price, twenty thousand a month. I'm out of here. Well, that's what they. That's what my my. You know, so it was a joke. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Someone I, said that. I have no yeah. idea. So they they they. Uh, I went. I should have known something was up. So I went in and I had fentanyl patches on. And then, uh, I know the guy. He came to my house. Now that I think about it, he drives a blue SUV, like a like a Murano type SUV thing. He came to my house. There's a house. That's that just sold down the street from me. Matter of fact, that um, the person who drugged me in the hospital uh, uh, assaulted me and my wife, and we had to be picked up. Like there was an incident, so that I mean, it's a it's a military document and a police document. So there's a house down the street where me and my wife, because we were found in the street down there. But the guy who did that, his face was the same guy who put morphine in my IV when I had a fentanyl patch on so i had like 80 milligram fentanyl patches and the military guy who assaulted me in my house my yard property here actually gave me a f more morphine in my in my uh, in my iv drip is that supposed to kill you like the chemical reaction between those two it's a yeah it's an overdose immediately right that's what i thought okay so Jeez. yeah the military guy so he actually uh if i remember correctly he actually handed me a gun to shoot myself when he came here and i um I told him I will do it. I'm not. I don't. Like, I'm not scared of death like you might be. And they're like, eh. and I says, well, you know, make sure it's got bullets and cock it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I went, we did this whole thing, and there was a fight for them to pull it from my head because they're like, I was like, just as I pulling the gun, like, so how are you going to explain my brains? And uh, uh, all over the back of your car using your gun and the and you know because of forensics, my education. Yeah. I'm like, There's the 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 black powder when I pull the trigger is going to be all over you. <laughs> Like the, How are you gonna explain that? I'm like you're gonna have the black powder. I mean, it'll be on my hand, but you're like you're you are 
here and I mean, I'm dead in your car. How's that fucking work out? It's a huge old fight. And well, he started thinking about that. You started the fight. Misdirection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you going to explain my brains all over your car? That is a feed. Now, yeah. now while you're thinking about it, because you got, you probably have a story. Well, he shot himself, suicidal, whatever. I'm like, but the the blast from the, the from the gun, the powder's on you. Yeah, it doesn't match up, does it? Plus, plus the windows are up, and if I pull the trigger in here, because of because of how the cartridge goes, his hearing's going to be fucked up. And the police are like, "Why can't you understand us very well?" Yeah, that guy was like, "Yeah, you can't shoot yourself in my car." <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that through, but then he showed up. They showed up. They had showed up to and put drugs in my in my IV at the hospital to OD me. But I uh, I remember them talking about being vegetable and whatnot. But and, and they put the uh, drugs in my you know the IV, and I, and they'd ask me questions like how old are you and I ah, be all mad my meltdown, and then uh, I don't know they come check like six hours later how you doing and I'm not eh. instead of ah right nine hours later how you doing. Mm. 12 hours later, how you, no, no comment. I've gone catatonic. <gasps> Uh-oh, we might have given him too much shit. He's not speaking or, or he's not responding anymore. So they take, uh, you know, slowly start lowering shit down. And then I, when they leave, I get up. So, okay, I can sit up. But I, that's all I could do. I can sit up. And so as they leave again, I can sit up and I can stand, but I fall on the bed. So I practice standing up. <laughs> they leave and I grab everything and I walk to the door and walk back. Every time and they come, are you okay? Talking about just catatonic, not responding till they lowered all of the meds. They're like, he doesn't need any meds. He's not fucking speaking. He's a vegetable. Right. I led their, I let, I, I led their, 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 I directed their conversation, giving them information without even saying a word. They told themselves, we gave him too many drugs. We need to lower it. Yeah, someone said predictive programming. That's the same effect with like the the fantasy being projected into reality. You're predicting it kind of be before it happens, something that already exists. But like, same yeah. type of thing. You are basically you are programming them using false signals. Well, they, well, I mean, obviously, you're giving me a shot to sedate me, so I'll just pretend to be sedated. You got yeah. me. I gave them what they wanted. They, 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 they made an observation and waited for the information to tell them what to do next. So you were like controlling the feedback, like the feedback loops. Mm -hmm. I do that every time someone comes to kill me. Every time. It's genius. Huh. Then we left. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> it was like, I freak out. You don't understand. When I decide, it's some some other guy was like you're an all or nothing kind of guy, aren't you? <laughs> it's nothing always, but when I when I do go, you better hope somebody's there to put me to sleep. Yeah, it reminds me of the fight or flight slow motion effect that Prob was talking about. I was thinking about that a lot, and I was like, with your adrenals, if you're relaxed all the time, if you're like hyper relaxed, then you can move real quick when it matters, type of thing. Kind of. If you're is that well, I mean, you, have, so, you know your brain speeds up your thought process it's not it's not that you move at the speed of light or anything like that you 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 do move you know you t i can test your reflexes and then your your flight or flight scenario and this is interesting for for fighting i don't know why yeah anyways we can test your reflexes right. and go your, your 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 reflexes are at a one right and that, that's or you know we you, you do some training some mma you're, you're going, okay we test your reflex your reflexes at a four you're at the top of the pack but we know in your flight or flight scenario, your reflexes go to a fucking hundred. You can move a hundred times faster than you do after you performed to make yourself go as fast. How did you do that? Well, your brain just released a special mixture. That's it. Cocktail. Yeah, literally. Look at so a grew a tail. <laughs> uh, so is that a cocktail of uh... thoughts? I'm trying to think of the classification of neurotransmitters of like no, epinephrine, like, norepinephrine, it's adrenaline. A cocktail of thoughts. Thoughts. When thoughts are just electricity or light, right? A cocktail of electricity. <gasps> so it's not even actually any of those things you're speaking about. It's just the right 
uh, you want to raise the sheer logic of your brain's watts, son, then you need to manage its ohms with a ketone. It's not even, it's not even chemical. It's all electrical. I can actually create the right electricity to move through my neural network and my nervous system a hundred times faster than it does right now. Someone said neurotransmitters are just the gates. Is that right? They're the gates for the light. Now we get somewhere. They're the gates. Now my gate opens and I take off. The signal takes off at 20 miles an hour every time. But there's a certain thing where my gate opens and that 20 miles an hour turns into 500 miles an hour. Why? How? It's a thought. Out came raw. It's a radio mm. signal. Raw Dio. Ah, Dios mio. It's like, oh my God, you see how fast that fucker was going? Ah, Dios mio. It's literally, where'd that, where'd that come from? People freaking out, and they go, oh my God. Oh my God. Where did it come from? Well, it's not chemical. It's not biological. Oh, so light waves. Are they waves or particles or both? Like double slit experiment? Both. Type. Both. both. It's both. They do not exist apart. I like tell people like a, a, a wave on a beach, right? When, when, a, when a wave, and you put your house on right on the edge and the wave's coming, it, it, right? it's, a, it's, just, it's, just a, it's just a wave, right? But when it hits the foundation, it's a particle. It's a solid particle and it breaks, the, it roads the foundation away, right? It's just a wave it's, until something looks at it, right? So the, look at the, the house was looking at the ocean and all it did was wave. And when, it, yeah. when as, as soon as the foundation looked at the wave, Bam! <laughs> it turns solid. A duality. Yeah. I, 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 I drop you two, two feet in the air into some water. You fall right into the water, right? Now, I, I get a high-speed camera. And this is real. This is, I don't know if they, it's pretty gory, but I get a high-speed camera. <laughs> like, because I've, I've seen it. But you get a high Yeah, I camera. think I probably have too. And, 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 and you let, well, let someone reach maximum velocity. Does anybody know what that is when you're free falling? Cause you need it for your, you know, barometer and stuff like that, you know, for halo jumps and shit. You need to know your, you need to be able to feel it in your eyes when your equipment fails, roll your shit back up. My eye dried out in this amount. I'm going 40 miles an hour. My eyes dried out in this amount. I'm going 70 miles an hour. <laughs> right. That's how they teach you when you don't have any equipment. But anyways, when you hit maximum velocity and you record it with a high speed camera, when you hit the water, the water has no give. It's like you hit you hit a solid piece of concrete, concrete. Your body splatters on the top. It doesn't even soak into the water, and then it does. But it's so fast you don't see it. Like it's literal. Like you, you it hits and doesn't even go into the water. It doesn't. Is that go because into with so every with every reality. force, there's an equal and opposite force. So when you go in at two miles an hour, that's how much is pushing back. But when you hit it at that instant, it's like. It's like terminal velocity is hitting you back, essentially. Well, yeah. Am I, am I traveling at terminal velocity now, or is the water? What's, right, we're in a circle of gravity. Now we go. See what I'm saying? Right, so if I'm up top, I'm falling at terminal velocity. If I'm up top, depending on the axis of the Earth, and I'm falling at terminal velocity. and I hit. But then if I'm down here on the axis, the Earth was falling at terminal Like it fell to me. The Earth yeah. hit me at terminal velocity. I just jumped in the air and stuck, and it... I yeah. stayed, I, I was static in space. <gasps> right? I jumped out of the plane and I didn't even go anywhere. I was static and the earth just swooped up and hit me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so lights, I don't know where I was going with the whole light particle thing. I don't either. <laughs> I've just been trying to study light wave physics, like uh, photons being packaged in energy and like how. Do you have kids? No, I've got a niece though. How old? Seven. Nice. Seven. I'm trying to teach her how to code, how to see code, but starting with real code. Like, uh, we got her a Lego Mindstorm inventor type thing with drag and drop blocks that she can, like, connect. I'm trying to teach her how to, like, program the motors and stuff. So, so, so your niece is seven. I have seven minutes left. That's pretty interesting. Anyways, seven, seven. Synchronicity. Well, yeah, this is a, your your niece is seven. I look up at my clock, so I got to be off at 1230 for my microwave to just check on my wife maybe come back on, but that's seven, seven minutes out. So 77, a radio blast from 1977. But I was just checking. Cause I asked, I asked, I asked, you know, 
after my my the beep boop, boop, about velocity and you know being trained to jump out of a plane for halo jump without any equipment because in the dark if, if i'm jumping if you're jumping out over to, over iran in the dark you can't really have equipment that glows so you can read it like you can in the states when we train you for halo jump in the states yeah you, you have shit with glow in the dark hands and shit and led lights and cram it's all nice right but that's that's a ranger type shit it seals you better just hope your eyes don't fucking dry out right yeah but i can my lift is over here i i'm at maximum velocity whatever <laughs> yours is well why why are you waiting on your eyes why don't you just put out your little pocket light while you're free falling and and stare at your little thing why not because a light I mean, falling out of the sky look pretty weird yeah. wouldn't it yeah so why don't, why don't you use why don't you just ha have some kind of digital thing to tell you radio well then right somebody listening to somebody talk about how the fast they're falling over your house would be kind of weird as well yeah and so now well we can we can we can encrypt it so people are like it's airborne range you fucking encrypt that shit there's a way i can do that i can jump over your house without knowing I'm like yeah but then why is there a signal falling from my house that's encrypted I can't like why is literally there's a free, there's somebody flew over here and they're free falling or whatever and we're not allowed to know what they're doing and they're they're literally they're falling at the speed of of a man from jumping out of a plane to breach a building. What do you think the signal in nineteen seven or nineteen seventy seven? So he said, "Mm-hmm." It's just the the, I think it's the last update. Yeah. <laughs> Noah's Ark, no Ra's Ark. So the last we are, we are officially the dominant. We officially look like the dominant image of the body of light on Earth. It's done. Time to go to it, Mars. Right? It's done. So why would why would we need a a, a Mons trance or, or or the image of? They'd need that if they were going to Mars, wouldn't they? They right. It's That'd be one thing. All religions would go. We're gonna have to let Martin go because. We can't have Mars with no religion. Like yeah. That's not agreed. There's not Christianity going, man, I love some Martian Christians. I'd love some, some Jewish Christ some Jewish Martians. I'd love some Muslim Martians. I bet you guys would. But if you want them, I need to be able to speak about and figure out how to get this monster trans working that you don't want your flocks to know about. Yeah. Arthur, you guys can battle over who wins Mars later. So yeah, like, like you a, said, like a, it'd be cheaper to just, it'd be cheaper to just start shooting nukes at Mars and just just get rid of it than to try to like compete compete economically with Mars once it's founded. But now, you said, now, now listen to what you said: compete economically. This is how you drew that: compete econom financially with Mars. How do we compete with? And you're not even a religion who created a bunch of false information for money. There's some Christians going, God, man, Mars is a lucrative, man, that's going to be lucrative. Yeah. Well, is it, is it, is any, is it going to be for any religion if we, if they don't have a monstrance or things to, to work it out? It's not. And they do that. No, it's not. We won't have any, any Christians on Mars. There'll be a planet that doesn't know our religion. Well, can I, can I have a green light then? Just a little one? Right. A green light? They're, 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 they're greed. Gave the green light. To shoot the nukes, is that what you're saying? Well, not to shoot the nukes, but to... to, to I don't know, man. Facilitate training someone like me, I guess? I don't know. Ah, uh, it was in, in greed. Kind of backfired, don't you think? <laughs> See, now we're getting somewhere. It wasn't. It wasn't in my best interest. It was in greed. I'm supposed to be dead yeah. right now. I'm supposed to be dead. And uh, era tech was supposed to be doing, running the Jedi project for the airborne Rangers. That went part of it. Like he got chosen literally. There was one point in time where he was like, Oh, look at me. I'm like, and kids were like, well, Martin already did that. Notion shows you dumbass type of deal. He's been yeah. doing it for a long time. And then, um, you know, I'd be dead and era tech would be gathering up people for the Jedi project secretly with, cause nobody would know what was going on because of me. And, and we're doing it using, Rape, blackmail, torture, and homicide, extortion, and racketeering. A government project that's going to hold, hold all of the information from the Department of Defense 
And we're gathering people up that can be blackmailed to give us the information before it's even finished. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm dead. And the whole world knows God chose Courtney Hunt to give them give this information out. I'm dead. Nobody knows about the babies that were stolen, that the babies that she, her, her her military men. She, I mean, she literally had sex with a guy in my house, heir of tech. They had a fucking orgy. And then they threatened to kill the baby my wife was pregnant with if we didn't give it up. And then it, it was stillborn. Right? No, that one, that one wasn't. That one, that, I don't think that one was. Different time. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. No, there's, there's what I'm saying. This, like, it's a whole... Sh now, you think, if I'm going to be attacked by the military and the, and the sheriff's department, even if I wasn't have any training if i was a regular citizen wouldn't i want to document some of this stuff just for my own well-being yeah just to have a, and this will say how stupid these airborne rangers and courtney hunt and these people were how fucking mm -hmm. retarded are you and I'm, i cannot put it any better any nicer about as dumb as you fucking get you're going to do some shit publicly you don't think the victims would have any inkling to start documenting some stuff Yeah, and they're supposed to be running these Jedi Project or the Jedi Project. They don't even understand how the internet works and recording things, digital legacies. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> that's what I'm like. That's what I says. Pretty uh, ironic. You know, Eric Tech, you, you know, you, you were talking about his YouTube. We had a conversation a couple of weeks ago, and he, you know, I, I was like, "How many people will Eric Tech get? Killed? How many soldiers will he get murdered this year?" And that's just all I do. And he's like, "Get out of here," you know. Um, before I, a, a, def, a, a defamation of character, you know, I said, like you're saying, but I'll sue you. And then he goes, and don't forget your Yelp review. And I'm going, you're going to sue me. And you brought up my Yelp review. Hmm. Like, some, uh, 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 you know, I don't have a Yelp review. I have a, I have, you have a video of you torturing me and me screaming. And now you're using that to blackmail me to stop talking. If we go to court, uh -huh. <laughs> this is not such a, <laughs> what happened when what happened when what happened tech why are you suing martin well he's talking all this shit well what happened when he was talking all this shit i brought up his yelp review or a, a, a video of him being tortured well who tortured him well i don't know let's ask martin fucking he did tech <laughs> you get what i'm saying take me to court yeah. dumbass <laughs> <laughs> you get what i'm saying they just yeah. digging, digging fucking holes oh like just shoveling shit deeper and deeper like Take yeah. me to court. And I, this guy, I went to Ocean Shores, and they're like, "We're gonna, you, uh, they wanted me to lie about representing some, some, some this guy named Bill." He, he, uh, I have a memory of his 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 daughter in a in a white maid shirt, but just the just the the bib serving his friend's food and beer. Just the bib. Just the bib. And then I'm supposed to, Jesus I'm supposed to, supposed to, if I forget about that, um, they won't, you know, they won't take me to court for my, my problems in Ocean Shores. And I'm like, I didn't even want to be here. So then they're threatening to have me evicted out of my apartment in Ocean Shores. I'm like, I'm going to bitch about it. So you evict me. And so I'm saying, they'll okay, evict me, then I'll have to stay here. So they go, then they were like, fuck, we got all the way to the court. And I can hear the, because I'm listening. They're like, we can't actually fucking evict him. We won't know where he's going to go and we can't keep track of him. And I'm like, I'm, they're like, so then they sit down, like, you give us a hundred bucks, you know, or whatever, we'll work it out, some payments or some shit. And I was like, no, we'll just go to the fucking courthouse. And, you know, they're all sweating in front of the judge. I'm like, okay, look, this is like, what, what we're paying, right? We'll pay it. We're fucking done. Have a great deal. And the guy, the, they just start sweating. You're just going to pay it and everything's going to go away. Yeah. It's a court record. But I had neighbors that watched when the, like, Bill had to come out and put his, I, I had a freak out about Bill Mead and his daughter in a white bib. And and um, his friends drinking beer and her being naked. Next thing I know, he fucking is. Show I've been beaten really bad. And he shows up and he puts his brown leather coat on me like I got you, boy. Don't worry, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm like I haven't fucking seen you since the incident I reported, just to see you know whatever. And now you're here pretending we're like. So I went along with it, for, you know. You know, I you know I know your I know well, I know your daughter from Special Olympics. And I did, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I'll, I'll go fucking along with it.
Because I had the lady from the, the HR rep from from uh, Quinault Resort uh, trying to give me and my wife some marriage counseling. She's the hiring manager. It's a fucking felony. You know, like the st Washington State, because me uh, and the things that I had a traumatic brain injury. I'm on disability. Washington State could sue the shit out of Quinault Lodge. I, I turned my laptop on and I let it, I, I let it run the camera and the microphone. She's blabbing about, you know, all this shit. And then I just stop for a second. And I point and she goes, well, it's, and I'm like, it's, it's on and it's recording. And she goes, for how long? I said, this is before you walked in the fucking room. And she just got, she was, she got up and fucking left. <laughs> she was no longer a counselor <laughs> for me and my wife's marriage. Ain't that weird? A fucking a, the a hiring manager at a at a at a business posing to my wife as a counselor, a marriage counselor. They showed up to have marriage counseling classes. Had they weren't even le not even a legal certificate. That's a felony. That's a felony. She presented herself as a counselor for me and my wife when we got a traumatic brain injury, but I already knew she wasn't a counselor. It goes bad. It's bad. You don't understand. Like I got sent. Like where did they send me yeah. after they didn't after they hurt me so that you know where do they send the, the victims to be sex trafficked there's two places ocean shores washington and a yellow house in tacoma they send the victims two places ocean shores washington now how long are we sending them there how many military men go go utilize those services when they're sent there now in real life the next door neighbor the black african-american who take who participates in rape of children and women for from the cartel basically the cheeto and choila paloya and salvador i think he does uh 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 cell service installations for military bases he's a he's
That's a fucking felony. Hardcore. That was the counselor from the mental health care. Well, yeah, but I didn't, remember, I didn't remember. This is when he told me. What, but the security what, cameras remembered. It was, I didn't remember, and I really didn't. He had to, you know, my wife, your wife was beaten and, and raped and had a baby stolen. When I said, Marshall, I said, what was he telling me that for? Checking to see if I remembered. No, I don't remember you, Marshall. I don't remember you. So then he can tell me, yeah, your wife, yep. Yeah. Now we got to find those guys, Martin. I got to help you. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. Stockholm yeah. syndrome. But that makes Marshall Johnson uh, 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 part, uh, uh, a, uh, an, uh, an accomplice to homicide. An Aiding accomplice. and abetting. Yep. And not only that, when a, when, a, when, a, when a sex traffic victim was taken to him and talked about it, he got so aroused, he, he had to rape the victim in his office. And, and how many women in those situations would the sheriffs take to him? Yeah. Have to speak about the situation. So he gets aroused and he participates. How many times? Yeah. Did some, how many times does somebody take? How many other victims that he that spoke about it? He got aroused and forced himself. On, you know, they did. And then things. they're they're never going to want to go back to counseling ever again because they know what's going to happen. So they can't really ask for help or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But he's like a Courtney Hunt and Marshall Johnson and some sheriffs facilitating in rape of children. And adults, blackmail, racketeering, they're all, I mean, we can do this over and over again, but when, when I go to, when, when I go somewhere, I don't go by myself, right? Where's my, just because, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, ah, raw in bow, man, the creator, right? Was, why did I get shoes? <laughs> like all I'm you think about is I got information about the creator. Why, why would I, why would the, why would, if there were, God was real, or anything was real, why would that, why would I, uh, why would he, why would they fix me? All I know about is a bunch of bad things happening on this planet. That's all I speak about. That's all I know about. What would be the point? Roz pissed. Rapist. Roz pissed. Yeah. I was actually talking to my mom about this yesterday. Like when I was 17, I became an atheist just for this very reason. Like how could there be a God with all this shit happening? And I mean, like you say, at the bottom of the glass, but so I told my wife, so, so, so you think about this. If we can't get the help of the sheriffs, the police, you know, and the, you know, there's some military came by and, and you know, said they were going to help. But at this point, the pe bad people are, are getting away. So we've just told Iran and Iraq and all these places. We have no, we have, you know, we told every, every American citizen, the military has no actual uh, care for you. We don't actually, we're not going to stand by you. I mean, we say that and put it on the news, but what do you see in your own community? Right? What do you, we, we put it on the news, but what did you see happening in your own face? It's like a, you know, it, this is a, a long-term strategic operation. See, right, the, first, the, the, the first line of defense for the, for the military bases in my state is the community that surrounds them. So yeah. for at least 20 years, somebody has been creating an, an – an, counterforce secretly for at least 20 years how big is the community for 20 at least 20 years for at least 20 years somebody's been planting different people in the military in the mental health authority and the police departments in my state for 20 years yeah you're talking about enemies of America infiltrating, essentially. Yeah, but how, 20, how do you, how do you infiltrate America? I mean, you think about it. I can't. From the inside, yeah. But I, I can't. So I'm Iran. I can't infiltrate America, but I can. Dan can. He's already there. Yeah. Dude, it's like sleep, sleeper, sleeper agents and stuff. But not even. Not, see, it's not, that's too much movie shit. Or like, it, sorry. No, like, no, basically, no, people no, bred and brainwashed. Not bred and brainwashed. Bad oh. people. Dan's a bad person. And, Black and what, not, not even his, not even him. Dan's a bad person, right? Dan's a bad person. He's an airborne ranger. I just need to go. I just need to document what he does, right? Any witnesses? I just right. silence. And That's Dan, what I'm you, saying. You, you, blackmail you, him, then you control him. No, no, no. Listen, no. Listen, what I'm saying not blackmail Dan. So we will say the Arab tech. Somebody's following the Arab of tech, collecting all all the counterintelligence, all the other members of the military he's getting and things like that. 
but the witnesses that want to come forward, somebody, I mean, tech has hurt a lot of people, killed some people, but I know, I know other people have died, so they couldn't stop tech. Somebody wanted, you see what I'm saying? Now, facilitating that shit. Now, who is that? Iran? Russia? He doesn't know. Who's been following him? He doesn't know. I got to go. Who's been following? We don't know. God bless, man. Thank you. Bye -bye.